Childbirth has come a long way over the years, and medicine has come a long way since those traditional Lamaze classes teaching you breathing techniques to manage your pain. Yeah, and back with us to talk about the evolution of Lamaze and the latest and greatest in pain management techniques, we have Mandy Irby, the birth nurse, back with us. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. So we've all seen the Lamaze classes, like right. on TV, maybe some people went to the classes, but what are the techniques for? What are they teaching you in those classes? Lamaze, you, well, what, what do you think of when you hear Lamaze? I think of breathing. Breathing, yeah. right. right. That's how it is in the movies. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That was really good. Thank you. It's not like that. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> so it used to be the breathing and it used to be a method, but instead it's completely changed. It's a philosophy. They okay. believe that birth is normal, natural, and healthy. Okay. And they guide you, Lamaze guides you with six healthy birth practices easy to remember and follow. You don't have to. You just take the class and all of the practices are in what we teach mm -hmm. and it's kind of woven in there. But um, so it is taught today, but it's just it's totally different. It's a philosophy. Okay. It's a, so, a thinking. Yep. It about. helps empower women to make health care decisions for themselves, mm -hmm. know their options, know their choices and trust their bodies. Okay. Is it still right. normal for the other like parent to act as kind of a birthing coach? Yeah, that's intimidating, right? A that's little like, bit, yeah. Like they have such a job they have to learn how to do. Right. No, it's not a coach anymore. You have, okay. I call it like your powerhouse. You have partners, you have support people, you yeah. have a team, mm -hmm. and their job is not coaching, but it's supporting however you feel like you need it. Okay, let's talk about the tools for managing pain. You have a couple of props here for us. Let's talk about what you brought. So yeah. the best part about labor pain is that you know it's coming and it's not constant. Yeah. Right, it so, ebbs yeah. and flows. Right, yeah. so we have tools in our toolkit. I don't know about the latest and greatest, but these are really simple tools that help, uh, help you feel better, which actually beats the pain senses to your brain. Okay. So if you do things that feel good, yeah. like a tennis ball on your back, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. feels good, then you're beating the pain and you're reducing how much pain you feel. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. I like so, it. I like that. And we have a sock. <laughs> yes. That's a rice sock. It's a, and you made this, right? Yeah. It's just like regular rice. Regular rice Wait, in just a sock. Just heat that up? Yep. You heat okay. it in the microwave and you may want it on your back. Yeah. It's hard to know what you're going to like. Right. But okay. a lot of women. You may want to just squeeze it. <laughs> right. Bite it. Yeah, yeah. Bite it. Right. I had a lot of back pain. So yep. yeah, that would feel good. Yeah. What about the pool noodle? The pool noodle is something that I just rediscovered. It's uh -huh. for your back, but it's also for big muscle parts. So I can demonstrate. Yeah, that. yeah, sure, absolutely. I love so that. Jealous. And so it protects your spine oh because my gosh. it isn't hard. And that's yeah. what your partner does. It gives a lot of There we go. Yes. Right. Get the pool noodle right. ready. The partner kind of is like, hey, wait, we've practiced this. And you try it. Yeah. Okay. And then if you hate it, you'll say stop. And right. then we yeah. have. This that is a massager. Boy. That's the, kind of the most intense <laughs> massager that we have. But again, it's for wherever Roll it you out. need it. Yeah. yeah. Oh what? man, you I'm telling you. <laughs> you see, you <laughs> got sore <laughs> legs. And I'm not having a baby ever again. But big yeah. muscle groups. These are so yeah. great. A lot of tension release can help uh -huh. with that. And yes. I love these. These are just little sayings that you can what just read while you're in labor and yeah, just kind so of say, "I am relaxed and calm." Yes, I love that. My so body much. knows how to give birth. Different techniques require some practice during pregnancy for it to be your technique mm -hmm. okay. and for it to feel really good back so you can think about back to where you were pregnant yeah. and you weren't hurting. Yes. So if these speak to you, then you can write these in a journal, you can tape them mm -hmm. in your labor room. Okay, and we have one a more birthing thing. ball. Yes. Okay, what is we this need for? That, right? You ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just to feel good. So you'll actually step forward and okay. I'll support you. And you oh, can just please. Sit. Like a lady. Yeah, <laughs> like a lady when you're not in labor. Yes. But it's a, it's a way to help your back feel better, to relax your oh. pelvis. It actually can reduce your pain. I love it. I feel good right now. I know. <laughs> and you have a lot of resources for uh, ladies going into labor. You can go to her website and check out mandyirby.com. You also have plenty of videos on YouTube. Thank you That's so right. much You're for welcome. all the help. Thanks for having me.